it's October 12th. Um, we got a big rain last night, rained pretty much all night and this morning. So I think it's been a little while since the deer have been able to move some. So I'm thinking they'll move good this afternoon. I don't know um, why they wouldn't. It's an east northeast wind, a little bit windy, which I don't mind because I got to go do a little bit of work to a tree to get in it. Um, carrying in my climber with my backpack clipped on it, my bow. And I'm taking a pole trimmer um, in there too to clip some branches if I need to. So I'm going to go get in the white oaks, see if I can find me a spot that will work for an east-northeast wind. Um, try to get settled in as quick as I can. It feels good. It's only 67 degrees for the high today. Should cool off a little bit more. Um, so I'm expecting some deer to come feed on the oaks this afternoon so we'll see what rolls through I just came in I carried a climber in found me a little spot in the white oaks um, that I think will put some deer in bow range if they're feeding around it's hard to uh, pinpoint a spot there's a lot of oaks in this in this area so anyway we'll see how it pans out but I'll kind of show you what I'm hoping will happen anyways and we'll see I'm expecting deer to kind of come from down in here there's some bedding back across on the other side of the bottom and there's kind of a ridge you can see it right here and it drops off on the other side so I'm expecting and there's some good trails coming across the top of this ridge and some really good white oaks up on top skirt the top of this ridge. My wind's blowing back behind me, back this way. So it ought to be a decent little spot. the dark. Still got some deer feeding through here. But we're about out of shooting light. We got maybe five minutes, but looks like that's going to be it for tonight as far as bucks. Really good on it. Right place, right time. Just the wrong buck. But high hopes for the rest of October. It's, uh, 
October 5th. It's October 7th. It's October 15th. 17th. Or 18th. Or 20th. It's October 21st. Got probably two hours left to shoot in light, but trying to keep after them. Been hunting pretty hard and having pretty slow hunts for the most part. Seeing some deer, but as far as bucks, it's been slow. Had a cold front in middle of October and the buck activity kind of spiked, had some new deer show up. Uh, bucks were moving around pretty good and then warmed back up some and it's just kind of come to a halt again. But anyways, we're getting close to things starting to open up here at the end of October and it should be here to stay next time it picks up. So staying after a month in good spots. Got some white oaks and some does around this afternoon, so but got a chance this time of year if you got food and does around. Um, got a couple good bucks in the area. Just hadn't got a look at them yet, but should change sometime here pretty soon. Down right there. Down right there. <sighs> uh. 
I will never, ever, ever get over this feeling. I mean, I've been having the worst hunts. Bumping deer, hot weather, shifty winds, just nothing. Nothing productive. And I just had two does come in and a coyote blew them out of the bottom blowing at me. I mean, blew 10 times, I'm, I mean. And I turned around and there's two does coming down the hillside with Ray Lewis, the buck I've been trying to get a look at behind him, <laughs> behind them. They're nervous because of the other deer blowing at the coyote. And for some reason, they kept on coming, cut behind me, and for some other reason, they didn't bust. They're downwind to me. I mean, dead downwind to me. Walked through my scent, never, never busted. Buck couldn't take it, followed him down through here. And I shot him before he got downwind to me. <laughs> I, I throttled him. He's, he's down. I mean, I watched him go down. I'm looking at him right now. That's not the biggest racked deer I've ever killed, but he's mature. I've had pictures of him. I know he's an older deer. And hunting an older, mature buck like that, just, that's what I like so much about it. My golly, I can't, can't really put words to that. Hmm. That's where the buck was standing right there. That is him. Laying dead. Well. I got him um, by myself. I got to get some buddies to come help me get some pictures and whatnot. But we got him. Just a big mature Georgia eight pointer. I uh, like I said, not the biggest racked deer I've ever killed but he's uh he's there age wise and that's um something I'm into so I'm proud of him um and can't wait to get some buddies and get some pictures and celebrate tonight but I am gonna sit here and uh say a prayer by myself um, and then we'll go celebrate so another look at him there I'll show you I'll take some more shots of him here in a minute but anyways blessed to be a bow hunter <laughs>